Let's begin right away with Lesson 1, Types of Orchard. An orchard is a portion of land planted with fruit trees or not trees. It is also known as fruit farm. Therefore, an orchard can have any kind of growing trees and fruit-bearing trees for profitable production. There are types of orchard. Let's talk about number one, fruit orchard. Fruit orchard focuses on growing trees and fruit-bearing trees. For example, manga, pumelo, durian, santol, at saka jackfruit or langka. Number two, seed orchard. Seed orchard is a piece of land focusing on growing plants from seeds like tomato, pichai, radish, bell pepper, and more. Number three is about nut orchard. Nut orchard ay ang orchards na nagbibigay sa atin ng masasarap na mani at saka kakao at niyog. There are also other types of orchard. For example, we have Christmas tree orchard. Christmas tree orchard is a type of orchard where pine trees are grown to be used as Christmas trees. This farm can be located in Baguio and Tagaytay. And of course, my favorite, coffee producing farm. It is an area where coffee producing plants are grown for market production. Batangas is well known for this. Let's now have lesson 2. Trees appropriate for our card gardening based on location, climate, and market demands. Here are the factors to consider in choosing fruit trees for your orchard. Number 1 is choose fruit trees which are suited to your location. Number 2, choose trees based on your needs or market demands. Number 3, consider how much effort you will exert. Number 4, plant the right fruits. Number 5, choose the best time for planting. Number 6, consider the climate in your area. And number 7, for healthiest and tastiest fruit, choose the sunniest available planting location. That is why, in your previous modules, you are asked to conduct some surveys para alam natin kung appropriate ba talaga at nababagay ba ang ating itatanim na mga prutas o kahoy sa ating lugar. Let's now talk about trees suited for orchard gardening based on location, climate, and market demand. Let's begin with location. Yung tamang lugar. Kung ang lugar mo naman ay nasa hillside, pwede kang magtanim ng coconut, mango, pili nut, at saka palm tree. Kung sloping naman yung area mo, pwede kang magtanim ng manga, coconut, at saka kasoy. Sarap yan. Palm tree, and of course, pili nut. If your place is in a valley, yung lambak, pwede kang magtanim ng durian, saging, papaya, at saka mangustin. But, if you are on plains, patag, pwede kang magtanim ng banana, mango, citrus fruits, dragon fruits, oh, and jackfruit, pati guava. So, yan ay ayon sa location. Okay? Huwag padalos-dalos na magtanim lang ng magtanim kahit kulang sa kaalaman. Now, let's talk about climate. Yung klima natin. When it's dry season, mas maganda kung ang iyong itatanim ay banana, pili nut, palm tree, dragon fruit, papaya, at guava. Para naman sa mga elevated o medyo maginaw na mga lugar, pwede ang grape, pomelo at sa mga low or yung medyo mainit na mga lugar mango, coconut banana, guava and durian okay sa mga plain pwede ang durian, banana at saka mango so as a reminder, wag padalos-dalos sa pagtanim 
think of the climate also. We should also consider market demand. Ano-ano nga ba ang dapat natin isipin dito? Ito ba ay year-round? Tulad ng banana, mango, citrus, dragon fruit, papaya, at saka coconut. Maaari din ito ay seasonal. Tulad ng jackfruit, guava, star apple, santol. Now let's consider this. Elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit bearing trees. Now, heto na. Harvesting is picking fruits in their season when they are ready to be sold or eaten. Harvesting is done at different seasons depending on the occurrences of each product. Generally, fruits are picked when they are mature enough. Fruits should reach the market in good condition. So, example yung mangoes, bananas, and papayas are harvested before they ripen. They should be green and matured. Patandaan talaga yan. Pumelas and chicos should be picked at the right size and maturity. And of course, native oranges or dalandans are picked while green. They eventually ripen. Now we want you to consider the following factors before harvesting. Number one, value of fruits in the market. Is it expensive or is it cheap? In these days. Number two, distance of the farm to the market. Gaano ba kahaba ang paglalakbay mula sa farm papunta doon sa market? And number three, period of storage of the fruits before transporting them to the market. Gaano ba kahaba ang inyong pag-store ng mga fruits bago ninyo ita-transport patungo sa market. Baka kasi yung mga hinug na hinug na pagdating doon sa market ay na-overripe na. Now, here are the tips in storing fruits. Use a rattan basket for storing fruits. Mas mainam talaga ang rattan kapag ito ang inyong paglalagyan ng inyong mga prutas. Use strong and clean rattan baskets for handling. Classify the fruits before placing them in the rattan basket. Depending on the ripeness, kaano kahinog, size o laki, and shape ang porma nito. Number four, place the heavy and ripe fruits like papaya, mangoes, and pineapple first. Ito yung ilalagay ninyo doon sa pinakailalim. Number five, store in a cool, dry place. Tama. So, dapat ay hindi ito direktang makikita ng araw. Number six, store the crops in a clean place, free from ants, cockroaches, and other destructive insects. Baka kasi hindi nyo mamamalayan ay nako naubos na pala ng mga langgam. Number seven, Handle the fruits cautiously, especially when placing them in the boxes or rattan baskets to avoid bruises. Kasi kapag ka may bruises ni siya, maaapiktuhan doon ang inyong pagmamarket. Number 8. Always recall, the better the product, the higher the price. Kapag ka maganda yung product mo, syempre, mas maibibintan nyo ito sa mas magandang presyo.